This motorhome is the La Strada Regent EB on a Mercedes um, Sprinter base. It looks pretty good, but the price is going to be 127,000 euros. 697 centimeters long, so it's a seven meter van, or well, nearly uh, 283 high. And on a three and a half ton basis, it'll give you 370 kilos of payload. Uh, so, um, a long vehicle. With an uh, unusual type of layout at the rear, the, the twin beds layout, and one thing I do want to point out is that they put flares into this vehicle. So we have the flare there and the flare on the other side. But we'll see that a bit better from the other side. Under the bed, Farley system and uh, storage as you'd expect from La Strada, which goes all the way around. There's no shortage of storage in their vehicles. They've got the electrics. You've got, oops, I'll close that properly. And you've got proper drawers, which many companies don't give. I um, mean, the Heimer Group uses these awful cheap drawers, even in its most expensive vehicles. And you see a Niesman Bishop for 200,000, or plus or 300, or maybe even 400,000 euros. And it's got these awful cheap drawers that the IKEA was getting rid of because they weren't good enough for its, uh, for its sale. Anyway, uh, here, drawers up there. I want to show you this as well. Magnetic system for locking it. But oh, some of them are pretty, they're pretty tight. Yeah, I'm losing a fair bit of force there to open that. Of course, it's new, I suppose, in time it will cease to be uh, such a problem. Uh, up here as well, and show you the corner bit. Oops, sorry. There's the corner. Unfortunately, the corner bit here is, has, gone to, has gone to waste. Um, I quite like this metallic type copper, old copper look, but uh, that's me, and I presume that that's a uh, more uh, specific taste. Right, so if I'm sitting here, I can say as far as the bed's concerned, I think it's relatively okay. I think I, I think I just about manage it. Mind you, I like beds to be really, really hard. You know, even for me, concrete is too soft. I like it really, really hard. Uh, that was a little joke. Uh, domestic fridge that opens in both directions. And also there's a bit of storage down there in the double floor. See if I can open my foot. Oh, oh. That um, blue thing down there is your water dump. So if you're going to store the vehicle for winter, something dump the water so it doesn't damage the boiler. The Mercedes is not an easy vehicle to uh, build because of the shape of it. Build camper vans. Uh, so the toilet is often it is often difficult to use. Uh, here we've got two. Uh, we've got quite a large shower unit, as you can see from 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 there. I uh, can't really quite demonstrate how. Oh, so I can't turn the camera around. There we go. And so this is about space inside. So it's not that's not too bad. And the door approximately yeah, it's not not a huge a huge amount of elbow room, but got a bit. But this is the sink, but in view of what it uh, sa says there, I am I'm not going to actually operate it. Uh, so I'll I'll leave. But the sink the sink actually drops down here. Uh, I do actually know how it works, but uh, just in case somebody was in here yesterday and broke it, uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to try. In the kitchen, we've got this sink here. Um, unfortunately, it's got an, uh, a small uh, with drainage hole. We really should have a big one. Same goes for the shower. Although the shower there is too. Uh, plenty of space between the gas burners. Uh, this may look a bit old. Lastrada uses this this look. It, uh, uh, 
it may look old this is practical and in a motorhome in a camper van what is most important is practicality and not if it looks uh, really um, sort of super new and modern huge amount of storage in there so you can keep uh, you can keep your out of the your suits your tuxedos all the other stuff you'll need when you're camping and uh, there we've got these drawers in here Pull them. so if you want lots of storage uh, La Strada is the brand to choose um, table I suppose oh. well I'd rather have a bigger one but maybe I'm not gonna get a bigger one and uh, storage up there that thing there may look like a bed but that's where the table goes when the vehicle is in motion in fact you can you can leave the table here uh, I think but it might get impinged in the uh, drivers away and it, it might also impinge on the passengers who are at the rear I'll have a walk around the outside So I want to have a look at the, the at the flares now the uh, the flare on this side is always a bit shorter because of the door so we, this has been pro brought out and let's go on the other side because the flares in this case weren't really necessary they put them on the flare is a significant cost uh, in in the vehicle uh, it's not it's not mine it's it really is it's quite it's quite it's quite significant but uh but it's there so there you have it look around this la strada i think it looks pretty good this region here but whilst we're here we're going to have a look this is the region eb oh i'm going to take you for a walk around the stand whilst the lady is talking okay Herzlich willkommen zum vierten Tag des Caravansalons in Düsseldorf. Wir wünschen Ihnen einen informativen Besuch sowie einen angenehmen und erfolgreichen Messetag. Good morning, dear exhibitors and visitors. Welcome to the first day of Caravansalon in Düsseldorf. We wish you an informative visit as well as a successful and pleasant day at the fair. Bonjour, chers exposants et visiteurs. Bienvenue au quatrième jour du Caravan Salon à Düsseldorf. Nous vous souhaitons une visite informative et une bonne journée pour nous désirer à la fin. Bonjour, mon cari expositori et visiteurs. Bienvenue à la fin du Caravan Salon à Düsseldorf. Nous avons une visite informative et une bonne journée pour nous désirer à la fin. If you've seen my videos before, I do like to let the lady do her little speech rather than try to uh, speak above her what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you around and show you some more of these uh, vehicles so so the avanti we've got this wonderful la strada nova which has got a monocoque shell the avanti uh, is on a fiat ducato basis this is a mercedes vehicle and uh, what this particular one of the many things attractive about it is this awning, for example, which is built into the shape of the vehicle. And uh, the, these uh, very wooden, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, it's this, this wood look, uh, which has been introduced for the 2022, 2023, 2023 sorry, season along with the sort of the copper uh, as well anyway you can see these in other other videos as well uh, so fiat or um uh, mercedes uh, as a base vehicle so thanks very much for watching i upload every uh, day at 21 15 and uh, from um 
it's Central European time, my time, uh, to 2015 in the UK. So this is me uh, in Dusseldorf, Germany. Thanks very much for watching and all the best.